Here's a video introducing outer joins in SQL. Uh, if you are not familiar with inner joins, I'd suggest starting there. Uh, you might check out one of my other videos. So we're going to use the Northwind database for this demo. And uh, just to start off, let's uh, recognize that a join can be restrictive. So for instance here, I'm looking at the products. And in my products table, there are 79 different products. But when I join those products to the categories table, uh, I only get 77 of them. So what's happening here is that certain of the products do not satisfy the join condition. That's this piece of the join. So um, which ones are they? Which, which of the products are the ones that don't satisfy? And what we see is that two of the products have a null category ID. In other words, there's an unknown category ID, or we don't know the category ID. So they do not satisfy the join condition. So I can pull those particular ones out and uh, notice that these are the ones that are restricted out by the join. So uh, one way to that people phrase this is that an inner join is exclusive. It excludes these particular records because they don't satisfy the join. So again, here it is. We get 77 products rather than all 79 of the products. But what if somebody says, hey, uh, we want to see every product. And even if there's a null in the category ID, and really you know show every product and if that product has a category associated with it then show me that information also and that's where an outer join comes in and just to uh, just to kinda clarify uh, a join so my syntax up above has been using just join but implicit when I just say join the default join is an inner join so there is a join statement and then here is another way to phrase it that is identical. So these two with this word inner here um, are equivalent. I'm just being more explicit by saying inner. Now I'm going to reformat this so that we can see both tables on the same line and one table is on the left of the inner of the join statement and then the other one's on the right. So this is the same as what I just ran, but it's just uh, rearranging the formatting a little bit. And now to see that extra, ca those extra categories, I'm going to make one small change, and instead of saying inner join, I'm going to say left join. And looking at the results, what I see is now I have 79 rows, and I've added these two records that clearly don't have category records uh, to match based on the category ID. So this is uh, what we call an outer join. It's also called an inclusive join in that it includes records that don't satisfy this join condition. So uh, again, what this says is include every record from the table on the left and if there's a table on the right, add those in also. But if there's not a uh, records on the right or in the right side table, uh, just replace all the values with nulls. So these nulls actually represent the non-existence of category records that align on the category ID. So of course there is also a right join, and so I can take a left join, and this is purely about which, which side the product, each table is on the words join, right? So products is right here on the left, categories is on the right, and I could say the same thing by just swapping those two tables, but phrasing it as a right join, and what you'll see again is that we have the null records. So um, this is also kind of shorthand for <clears throat> fully specifying an outer join. So to fully say this, we'd say left outer join or right outer join. And um, so, but typically the outer part is omitted. Um, also notice that all these examples 
uh, the on statement doesn't change. So this join condition doesn't change whether I'm using a left or a right or a inner join. Um, again, outer joins are called inclusive. Inner joins are called exclusive because they exclude the records. Um, but basically what I've been doing here is I've been showing the, the records here that uh, have products without matching categories, but what about the other direction? Maybe there's a category that doesn't have a matching product. So let's look at those. So here we go. Let's count up the number of categories that are in the categories table. And let's count up the number of categories that are in the products table. So we're basically missing two, right? We have 10 in the category, but in the products table, the products table only refers to eight of the categories, but which eight? So let's look over here and notice that we have one through nine and then category ID 14. And if I look at the distinct category IDs in products, ooh, I have a null category ID and I only have one through eight. So I have uh, nine and 14 are not represented. So um, I could swap the join. So in this case, I have products on the left, categories on the right, and I'm saying right join. And what I should see here is, as I scroll through the records, here are the two categories that do not have matching products. And since there are no records that satisfy the join condition, all the values from the products table are replaced by nulls. So this is kind of a null record uh, that's being replaced in the case where uh, there is no record that satisfies the join. So again, this is a, another kind of a join, uh, inclusive join, only it's including every category even if it doesn't satisfy the join. Now a common use for this kind of an outer join or an inclusive join is to isolate and find just these records. So this would be what we call find unmatched. Find categories that do not match products. So something in the category table that isn't in the products table. So how would I take all of these records and only keep these two? Well basically what I need to do is make sure that the product ID over here is null. So I'm going to take that same query and rephrase it as a left join, right? Just to pre I'm just rephrasing there. And then I'm going to restrict the results here to only the ones where there's a null product ID. And there we go. I have the find the unmatched categories. I have categories that do not have matching products. Um, why did I pick product ID as the the field to compare to null? Because it's the primary key. And if the primary key is null, you know the record really doesn't exist because normally uh, primary keys must not be null. So. Uh, I typically format this, um, you know, uh, with the table stacked and the left join to uh, the join condition to the left. Uh, I like this because it's it's very structured. Number one, and number two is it's uh, it's very apparent what kind of join I'm doing, and I'm very intentional about saying to uh, the readers of this that I really intend to do a left join. Now, there is one other uh, outer or uh, inclusive join called a full outer join. Most of these, uh, what we've been doing is either the left or the right side, but what if I want to combine both the left uh, outer par portions? So here is the full outer join, and what this means is include every product, even if it doesn't satisfy the join condition, and include every category, even if it doesn't satisfy the join condition. So if you'll see, I have certain records here that have null values on the category record side. And then there's a record that has 
uh, nulls on the product record side. And then again, for a more consistent formatting, I would format it like this. So that's uh, an introduction to outer joins.